Hi everyone, this tutorial is about using SQLite in WAM server using the programming language PHP. Before we start, I need to give a short introduction that SQLite extension is bundled along with WAM server uh, from PHP 5 and so on I think. In my web browser, I have opened php.net slash manual slash en intro dot sqlite dot php in this extension it is written if I go inside installing configuration and under that requirements it gives me the information that sqlite extension is bundled by default as of php 5.0 beginning with 5.4 the SQLite extension is available only via PCL. So, for those who are running current version of PHP and WAMP server, can easily use SQLite extension uh, in PHP without any kind of installation or uh, adding any kind of plugin or anything else. Well, for this program, I will show example of SQLite 3 some information are available here SQLite 3 is available from PHP 5.4 or 5.3 I think it is written in here 5.3.0 yeah the SQLite 3 extension is available from PHP 5.3.0 it is written in the PHP documentation if you want to use uh, PHP um, programming language with SQLite and uh, you can uh, dig more deeper uh, then uh, I, I would suggest to uh, you should look at those two pages in PHP documentation especially this one that uh, specifies the functions list, resource types, configuration and everything about uh, SQLite 3. As for my program, I have already running my WAM server. In my WAM server homepage, my PHP version is 5.4.12. So clearly I can use SQLite 3. For those who are running uh, an older version of PHP, I can use SQLite 2. The functions and syntax are a little bit uh, different, but uh, the query language uh, more, or uh, more or less same. So, <coughs> it is clear that SQLite extension is already added inside WAM server, but before I start using SQLite actually using creating database and uh, reading and updating tables I need to uh, do some configuration work in WAM server that is necessary otherwise SQL SQLite will not work I have a small program here that creates a table and inserts some data and then reads just one row and shows web uh, shows in web browser in a uh, table format but if php uh, 5 uh, if i am using php 5.4 or greater then only i can use this program because this is written in sqlite 3 so at first i should check if sqlite 3 is available in my php or not it can also be checked from PHP info page but it is recommended that we should uh, write a code snippet for checking if the class exists SQLite 3 if the class exists then there is no problem if the class doesn't exist then we should abort the program immediately so if I run this program now inside my SQLite directory sqlite.php I will get instantly the error that sqlite3 not supported so 
to make it up and running I need to make a small change change here in WAMP inside PHP php.ini I have to go to the extensions uh, once again I should clarify that this thing that I am going to do that extension configuration is required only for Windows it is not required for Unix users here it is the DLL files that are all listed here remember the lines that starts with that semicolon it is uh, those lines are commented so for make SQLite up and running I need to enable two extensions that is PHP PDO dot SQLite that is already uncommented th that means that is already running and another is PHP SQLite 3 dot DLL or SQLite dot DLL if I am using SQLite lower version so uh, as I am going to use SQLite 3 only I can only uncomment that SQLite 3 dot DLL then save it and then I have to restart my OAM server just a bit before it restarted restarts yeah the green icon it is restarted now at first I should take a look at the output then I will explain the program one by one let's refresh the page yeah here I get some output table AMP stat created data entered then reading the entry well what does this file actually do first of all I already told that here in this line 9 and 10 we are checking whether SQLite 3 is supported or not then we have created a DB name that is base you can use any name here and also the extension doesn't matter here you can use SQ3 or something to make it clear that it is an SQLite file but uh, if uh, we, uh, I don't use any extension it doesn't matter then my table this is the name of the table I have uh, given the name EMP stat as I am going to dump some data about employee statistics of a company well then I am using object oriented approach to create SQLite there is a procedural approach as well but uh, that is uh, rather old fashioned in 2024 2014 sorry uh, well in object oriented approach I have created a variable dollar base and I have assi assigned a new SQLite object with the tab table name DB name that is base then I have to run the query the query is simple the query is normal SQL query that is also similar in SQL uh, MySQL or SQL server or uh, those SQL queries are almost same create table table name uh, then my table ID not null primary key EMP name long test text EMP post text salary int well then to actually execute this query I have to call the exec function on the base variable that is actually holding the object the SQLite 3 object that is our handler so on this handler I have to uh, call exec function and then I will pass query variable as an argument and I will store the result in dollar result variable if dollar table is not created if the query is not successful then it provides um, some in, uh, boolean false information not necessarily zero but it may be equivalent to zero if it is equivalent to zero 
then we have to exit table is not created some problem is there otherwise table is created and it is successful then I am just equating this line table my table is the name of the table as I said earlier it is created okay this is up to here table emp stat created and then I'll insert some data for quick data entry I'll use an array actually an array of arrays two dimensional array first of all the ID then the employee name then post and then the salary well I have inserted I have created actually the uh, two dimensional array with four rows and now I will run the for loop to traverse that array and for each array for each array uh, row actually I will store the value in a variable ID in a variable number name in a variable name post in a variable post and then salary in a variable salary and then <coughs> I will run the query again insert into table name ID MP name EMP post salary values this number name post and salary variables those I created just above and then similar I have to call the exec function for executing the query and I will store the result in results variable and as the loop runs from 0 to count a that means uh, it is 1 2 3 4 5 here so the for loop will rotate 5 times I will get 5 rows of data inserted in my table that I created earlier and then again I will check if the result is false or true if the query is successful then the result is not boolean 0 something else if the result is not successful then uh, the result is uh, the result variable will actually return 0 or something that equivalent to boolean 0 well then I have printed data entered into my table that is the table name here we get the output data enter into EMP stat successfully then I'll read the data back to see if it is actually inserted if we can read the data back from the table well the query is simple select ID EMP name EMP post salary from my table that is table name then I will execute the query similarly and after executing the query I will get some result here that is the um, uh, result that is the row actually that is returned from the table to uh, get the row inside an array I have to call the function fetch array the f using the fetch array method I will get the result inside the row variable actually row is an array actually I will get the result inside row array and then reading an entry I echoed here reading an entry then if count row is greater than 0 if some data is read actually then ID row com row uh, within uh, parameter ID that means when I get the result in row array I will uh, get the array with key values uh, with exact the same name ID EMP name EMP post and salary well 
I have received those values inside different different variables name post and salary then a little bit style uh, to create a table here and then serial name post salary those are table headers and accordingly in the row ID name post and salary those variable I just created above those I am printing out and then I am finishing creating the table and else I have created a if statement here this if statement checks if some data is read at all if some data is not read that means there is some problem in reading if there is some problem then I have to simply print out the output on the browser that can't access my table that table is not accessible but in this case my result is successful and after echoing reading and entry I get my table and I get just the first uh, row of data that I inserted let's have a look at that again let's have a look yeah this was the first data John Doe CEO 10,000 salary well I have got the first row of data if I run this on a for loop or a while loop I can easily run this using this uh, uh, row variable uh, checking uh, up to when the row variable gives a result and then uh, by this method I can uh, detect the end of the table uh, if I run this code snippet inside a loop then I can get back all the data but for my testing purpose this is enough I have got my data and that means it is successful so this table creation data insertion and then reading data is successful there are a lot more functions in SQLite that you can use I recommend to go through this uh, php.net manual uh, pages on SQL lights you can uh, search any functions with SQL light here and you, you will get the result SQL light array SQL light busy timeout SQL light changes there are many more so if you want to dig deeper good luck go ahead for now I have only shown a simple example that shows how to create and use actually SQLite within the WAMP. So, bye for now. Thanks for watching.